What's the most beautiful sight you've ever seen? For me, it was probably Table Mountain in South Africa. I was visiting my twin sister and some friends and I took a cable car to the top. I remember watching the sun break through the clouds and light up Cape Town 3,000 feet below. It was so stunning, we lost all track of our conversation and just stood there in silence. What would it be for you? And when you saw what you saw, I wonder if you asked yourself the same questions I did. What kind of power could have produced something so achingly beautiful that it reduces a human being to sheer, wordless wonder? Did all this beauty really just happen by chance? How did life begin without life to create it in the first place? And even if I do decide it all happened completely by chance, why is there anything here at all? Why is there something and not nothing? Then there are the stars, millions of millions of miles above us. Apparently, there are at least 100 billion stars in our galaxy alone. And scientists estimate there are at least 100 billion galaxies in the universe. And it's not just the larger things in life that are truly remarkable. It's the smaller things too. There are 75,000 miles of blood vessels crammed inside us and at least 50 trillion cells. If the DNA from a single human cell was stretched out, it would measure about six feet in length. So if all the DNA contained within the cells of a single human being was stretched out and laid end to end, it would reach all the way to the moon and back again 8,000 times. You're amazing. And if you saw something that stunning in a gallery or heard something that beautiful on the radio, you'd instinctively ask, who created it? And if someone were to tell you that this incredible piece of art or music just came together by itself without any author to create it, would you believe them? The Bible quite unashamedly says that all this natural beauty is meant to point us towards God, the one who created the extraordinary scale and complexity of the universe we live in and the bodies we inhabit.